Hello everyone! Thank you for watching another informative episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making a couple of super easy vegan Nepali dishes, moon roti and potato curry. You can find this recipe and a whole lot more at thefatveganchef.com. And are you ready? Let's begin. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a uh, mixing bowl, and you can also use this bowl to soak the uh, moong dal in. You'll need a couple of mixing spoons, a couple of strainers, one fine mesh, one can be a bigger mesh. You'll need a mortar and pistol or a spice grinder. And you can use coffee grinders, but when you use coffee grinders, do not use the same grinder that you use to make your coffee in, otherwise your coffee is going to taste like your spices. If you like your coffee a little spices, a little spicy, use that. Otherwise, I would invest in a second $20 coffee grinder just to grind your spices in. You'll need several pans. You'll need a pot to boil your potatoes. You'll need a flat pan or a tawa as I have here to cook your, uh, your roti. You'll need this pan to roast your spices. You need a nice thick skillet to um, cook your curry. And then you'll also need a food processor or you can grind it by hand if you would, if you would like. But it's a much easier in the food processor. The ingredients that you're going to need for the uh, roti is four cups of yellow moong dal and I've soaked this overnight and then uh, strained it already and this is the actual brand of moong dal that I bought I found this at the local Indian grocer if you don't have an Indian grocer close by you may try a Middle Eastern market if not I'm sure you'll be able to find this or an equivalent online uh, this is two pounds and I used a little over half a bag of this so two pounds should be plenty for our needs here I also have ginger paste to taste this is about one uh, teaspoon I have uh, salt to taste so this is about half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of turmeric we'll also need sunflower oil and we'll need this to uh, pretty much um, as needed we'll use this to uh, coat the pan in between each uh, batch of uh, roti that we make. For our potato curry, the ingredients that we will need is four to six medium potatoes. We're gonna leave these whole for now. To taste, you'll need ginger powder or ginger paste. And I have about a half a teaspoon here. I have one teaspoon of garlic. And again, this is to taste. If you want it extra spicy, you can add in some chili paste. This is about a quarter of a teaspoon. Also to taste our uh, green and red chilies. I have one of each. These are about mild to medium. And again, this is to taste as well. If you don't like it spicy, you can use a little. If you like it extra spicy, you can use a lot. You can also use uh, jalapenos or whatever chilies that you feel comfortable with. I have one red onion that's been diced, four Roma tomatoes that's been diced. I have one half teaspoon each of coriander seeds, fungal Greek seeds, and cumin seeds. You also need some cilantro for the dish and also to top it off with, and green onion for the dish and to top it off with, and this is <clears throat> all going to be just uh, as needed. Also as an option if you can find it local in your area this is a curry leaf that I have diced up and this is what the actual leaves look like and I found this at the local Indian market as well so that's uh, that's some uh, curry leaves there and they smell really good actually so they're gonna provide some good uh, flavor to the dish like I said it's optional only if you can find it if you have a local mar Indian market in your area. So go ahead and gather up the ingredients that you'll... Oh, you uh, will also need uh, about a 
tablespoon of sunflower oil as well. So uh, go ahead and gather up the ingredients, pause this video, and I'll be waiting for you. Welcome back. The first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get our potatoes ready. Now what we're going to do is we're going to parboil the potatoes, which means we're only going to cook them about halfway through. So we're going to boil them for five minutes. I have some water here. It's cold. It has a little bit of salt in it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. I'm going to turn this on high, put a lid on it, and bring this up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to reduce the heat, then I'm going to cook it for five minutes, then I'm going to drain the water off and set the potatoes aside. While the potatoes are boiling, I'm going to go ahead and roast my dry spices. So I'm going to go ahead and move down a burner, and we're going to get the spices ready. All right, I have a pan here, and I'm getting this hot. Once the pan gets hot, I'm going to go ahead and roast our melody of spices, and I'm going to roast them for about 30 seconds to a minute until I can start smelling the flavors. And then once these are roasted, I'm going to go ahead and get them grinded. Pan is ready. Go ahead and add my spices. I can start smelling the spices come through. So these are ready to grind up. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in a dish at first. And now I'm going to go ahead and get these grinded. And again, I am using a coffee grinder here. And this is what it's going to look like once it's ground. It's ground to a nice paste. So let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next step, shall we? Our potatoes are cooling down a little bit. While our potatoes are cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and get my doll ground. And I'm using a food processor here. Again, you can do this by hand if you want to, but food processor will take quick work of it. You may have to do it in two batches. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what this batch does. Add your salt. Add your turmeric, add your ginger. Go ahead, get out of there. Add your lid. Now to coax it along. You may need to add a little bit of water to it, so and it looks like it does need some water. We want to make this kind of like a thick uh, paste, a thick uh, slurry is what we're kind of looking for here. Right, this is ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this in a bowl. And we'll set this aside until we're ready to uh, make this. Now we'll go ahead and uh, 
get our potatoes uh, diced up and get them ready to go. Now it's time to dice the potatoes. I'm not going to really bore you with the uh, process of doing it. I'm sure that you have boiled and diced potatoes many, many times already. However, I did want to tell you that the potato skins, uh, do not let them go to waste. I'm going to uh, do a video in the future that will use these very potato skins and I'm going to fry them up and put some cheese sauce on them. So stay tuned for that recipe. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get these potatoes finished here. Just going to dice them in a medium dice after I get done peeling them. And then I will see you over at the stove. I have my cast iron skillet. It's on about medium high. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the sunflower oil. And as you can see, my skillet is hot. And what we'll do is we'll add our onion. We'll add our peppers. I'm going to add about half of our mixture here. Garlic. Ginger. And the red pepper. Give this a nice stir. And we'll let this cook for a couple minutes to allow the garlic and ginger to start to blossom. I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. And the tomatoes. Give this another stir. Add in the remainder of the spices. We're going to let this cook for a little while. My potato curry is pretty much cooked. I noticed that I didn't really like the color of it so I added a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric and so that uh, made it a little bit more yellow so I'll go ahead and add that to the uh, recipe uh, that's on the web page again I added a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric to the dish now I'm going to go ahead and pretty much finish it off I'm going to add a good uh, tablespoon or so of cilantro a good teaspoon teaspoon and a half of green onion and two or three leaves of curry curry leaves that I have uh, um, diced up there now I'll give this another good stir Now I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and I'm going to cook the, uh, the roti. We have our potato curry cooked and it's sitting aside, staying warm. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook the 
a yellow moon doll roti. And I have my Tawa pan here hot. Uh, again, you do not need to go out and buy a Tawa if you don't want to. You can use a flat pan. Uh, that's just fine. So I've oiled it with the sunflower oil and it is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take a scoop of the of the bat batter here. Put that in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and spread it out into like a pancake here. You can see it's about as thin as a pancake batter here. Now I'll go ahead and put a lid on it and I'm going to let it cook for a couple minutes and flip it and then uh, let it cook again. This one is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the batch, and then I'll see you over at the counter. We've got everything ready. Let's go ahead and plate. We have a nice, generous portion of potato curry. Go ahead and add a couple of pieces of the yellow moon doll uh, roti and we can garnish the uh, curry with a little bit more cilantro and green onion and finish it off with some uh, curry leaf just like that And look at how beautiful this dish looks. I told you this was super easy to make. And this will impress your loved ones. And they will think that you brought takeout, but you didn't. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. If you found this video useful, please consider donating at tfbc.org forward slash donate. You can find me at all of your social media sites where I share more than what you see here. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. Please spread the word by telling your friends and family about my website and about what I do here. Thank you very much.